What's going on guys? Kaylee here and welcome back to the Honey Stud. If you guys remembered my last video where I shared about our horrible Varroa mite infestation with one of our colonies and I told you guys that I needed some time to make a plan for what I was going to do to help mitigate our Varroa mite situation. Now I'll put that video above so you guys can kind of follow that and see because this is now going to be part two with my plan on how we're going to try to, to correct our Varroa mite infestation with that one specific colony. Now I was able to check a few of our colonies and so far I'm very pleased with what I see. So hopefully that means that the only colony that we have that's highly infested is that one. Say hi mom! Hi! <laughs> My mom and I came up to the apiary together because we are going to go ahead and get into that colony and we decided on what we are going to use to treat. And I know a lot of you are curious to that as well. Now I have Formic Pro that I'm going to actually use to treat this colony and it is considered organic. I will put all of the information down below so you guys can do your own research and see if that's something that you want to use uh, in your apiary with your bees if you have a furrow mite infestation. The reason why I did not jump right into a treatment plan for these bees is because I was looking at the temperature. We were 85 to 89 degrees Fahrenheit. The threshold for the outdoor temperature when using the Formic Pro needs to be at 85 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 29.4 degrees Celsius. So that is kind of why I kind of was waiting for a couple more days. Um, I figured if they survive this long, give them a couple more days. Because the first three days when it comes to treating with Formic Pro, you want to stay below that threshold. And today, tomorrow, the following day, and the following day, we're actually only going to be in like the 77 degrees Fahrenheit which I don't know exactly what that is to Celsius. What's 77 degrees Fahrenheit compared to Celsius? Hold on. I'm going to Google it. Let me do my math real quick. Oh, I already got it. It's 25. So 25 degrees Celsius if you don't use Fahrenheit when it comes to temperatures. Let's go ahead and get into this colony, and we will show you our step-by-step -step on how we're actually going to use the Formic Pro, and hopefully we get a hold of this Varroa mite infestation. Okay. So, first thing that you are going to want to do before you do this is to do your own research. I mean, why not just guarantee and verify what you are doing to your bees that you are comfortable with. My mom and I are up here, and I want to show you really quick. This is kind of easier to do this with uh, two people. Let or me more. prop this up. Two people or more. You get in the video. <laughs> Um, so when you're purchasing your Formic Pro, it will come with a whole description on what to do, storage, disposal, this, that, and the other. We are choosing, because this colony has such a high Varroa count, um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually do the two Formic pads um, for the 14-day period. Uh, you can split it up. You can do one Formic pad uh, for 10, for ten days. days and then come back in at another one if you choose. Because of the high Varroa mite count, we're going to just hit this colony hard. And if we do end up losing this queen, it's we still have time. I can still make a an adjustment with this colony. I'm already kind of looking at planning on requeening anyways, uh, just because I want really good, strong genetics. And there are a few colonies that I have back here that I really want their genetics, especially with their low Varroa mite count um, and the hygiene. Now we spoke about that. I wanna get in more in depth with that later on. Today we are just here, we're on a time limit, and we're yes. gonna get this Lots piece. of stuff to do. <laughs> Lots of stuff to do. So this is one of the bags that comes in. This is, it's got your expiration date on the back. That's very important. Don't yeah. put anything that's expired in your colonies. Yep, and this states right on the front, it says 10 doses, but there's 20 strips. So if you're going to do the two strips per colony, then 10 doses per container. If you're going to do the single, then you'll have to follow up with one another. Right, one strip for 10 days, mm -hmm. and then you'll have to drop in another strip for another 10 days, all keeping in mind this is... Um, pertinent to the weather. If you notice, I'm wearing my regular hive gloves. 
Uh, Mom is actually wearing rubber gloves. We won't use our regular gloves when it comes to putting on the, the Formic Pro. Um, so she's wearing kind of the safety gloves. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna kind of tag team this. I'm going to lift up the Honey Super. She's going to place it on the brood chamber and then I'm gonna put it back down. So there's a cut mark that's designed on that. And you're gonna see that the Formic Pro is wrapped up in a special paper. Don't remove that paper. There are two pads. You'll just have to flip it over and you'll see it does open up. And all you do is just tear right there. Now, it is strong, not gonna lie. It's almost you, a vinegary smell. It does have a vinegar smell. When you're placing your Formic Pro on your brood chamber, you are gonna to wanna to get the Formic Pro closest to the, the bottom brood chamber as possible. Now that colony right there is a solid bottom board. If you are using a screen bottom board, go ahead and just slide your, your mite count uh, tray back inside. You do want to kind of close off that ventilation on that aspect, but open up your entrance reducer all the way. Now you're gonna leave it open for the next 14 days. And then in 14 days, I'm gonna mark this down and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do another alcohol wash on this colony because I wanna see if this worked. I wanna make sure that this colony is going to be able to survive the winter. And if, if it's still not looking good with the Varroa mite count, then it's plan B, which we'll talk about that definitely later. Now, if you are choosing to not use Formic Pro, that's totally fine. Whatever you use uh, for your mitigation on your Varroa mite, just make sure to do all the research, look at the temperature, look at if you can allow honey supers on your colony. This is why we actually chose to use Formic Pro because it is considered organic and you are allowed to use it with your honey supers. So just always do your research, always double check, Always ask or phone another beekeeper friend if you guys maybe aren't 100% sure of this, and that's totally okay. You know, this is all a learning experience for everybody, and we, at some point, all of us as beekeepers, no matter how many years you've been doing this, whether it's your first year or your 20th year, at some point, we were all on the same page, especially when it comes to learning these bees. And I'll tell you right now, as many years as I've been doing this, I've never actually seen a Varroa count that high. And there are some things that I think we're gonna change in our practice uh, when it comes to swarm catching, especially later on in the season with swarms. I do think that we're gonna go ahead and do an alcohol wash when we catch a swarm, so we kind of have an idea on what we are looking at so that hopefully we won't run into this problem as well. I do wanna say thank you guys for all of your suggestions. Thank you for sharing all of your insight. I am gonna look into, I believe, Randy Oliver's technique with the uh, dish soap instead of using the alcohol. I think on the next time that I do this for a mite count, I might go ahead and try that. I might do a little bit of the alcohol and a little bit of the dish soap and let's kind of gauge and see what our, what our count looks like. Fingers crossed though, I'm hoping for a very low percent of an infestation. That is what I'm hoping for. And I think time will tell. We'll keep you guys posted. We're gonna go in and kind of check a few of our colonies, but as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. And learn something old. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.